Hello, Assalamu alaikum guys. Uh, today I would like to talk about a very nice topic that we needed in our like development. So today we're gonna talk about how to work with serverless functions. So I choose Azure as uh, one of the cloud computing um, platform that we can use. So uh, the first question, why we're gonna need it? So first of all, the serverless function, it's somehow um, can be more smaller than microservice and we need it as maybe uploading a photo, uploading some pictures or try to analyze some document or something like that. I mean, server like um, function serverless that we can try to use it um, many times and it can be used from the other teams also. So um, what we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need, we will use for sure IntelJ IDEA so we need a plugin there that we can have it and after that we can create a project and run it and uh, the most important thing that we will be able also to run it locally which is more interesting so let's do it so first of all that we will um, we will need to have this plugin azure toolkit for IntelJ so it will give us the optional once we have uh, want to have new project and we can just choose azure functions and we can just use the http trigger you can see also also a lot, a lot of options that you can use but we will concentrate now how to do it as http trigger the idea that we just need to um, communicate with http as a request and see uh, what is the, re the response for it but also you can uh, you can try different things and we're also you're gonna use the Java 17. Yeah, let's keep it as, as simple as that. So now uh, we have a project that is um, like support frontal with this plugin. Um, first of all, the boom file contains some dependence related to azure function um, Jupyter if we want to have some test and mokito for mocking the um, things that we are using and this plugin will help also us to um, see like that it will running it will be running during package um, step so the most important file is http trigger uh just function name which is from adder we are saying okay this is um the methods are allowed get and post the default uh, default settings for the authorization and from the context if we just want to use the logger and here that we are using the um we are saying that okay the request uh, will be that request will, will be sent also in the in the uh, this function so we can just use it it's it contains like uh, some parameters and also body so we can check that during running let's go to maybe package it first and then we can run the Azure function locally and we can test it. So the idea itself that I'm just sending the name and uh, after that I'm like expecting one of two responses if the name is null so I'm getting this message as body if not just a hello and the name of the uh, the name that I sent it. So how can we, see, uh, we can run the, um, the the Azure function locally you just need to Maven uh, Azure Functions and run. So now we can just say we can open Azure Terminal and we can say curl. We can use curl as a tool for testing our API post and uh, link that 
divided and name equal just sharpen. Yeah, that's the idea that I'm just uh, printing or getting response for the name. If we don't send name, so we are expecting to have the message body as place uh, about the name. Yeah. That's all. I hope that you enjoyed it. Yeah. Bye bye.